Well, obviously, it's a you know it's a tough week, uh, tough day uh, for our players and our program. Not not preparing to play this weekend. Um, you know, at South Carolina, we've uh, had a lot of success in the postseason, and any time that uh, we find ourselves in position uh, not to be participating, it's a very difficult time. It's a difficult time for myself, our coaches, our players, and everyone associated with our baseball program. And uh, you know, that being said, uh, you know we we've I met with the team. Um, we're making progress and, and, and making plans to make sure that this doesn't happen again in 2018. And, and we're working hard from a recruiting standpoint to keep our class intact. Uh, we got an incredible recruiting class coming in next year. And, um, and some of those guys are going to have the opportunity to play pro baseball. And we're doing our part right now to make sure they know and realize uh, how special their experience will be here. And um, uh, so that you know, we'll be able to put one of the best teams in college baseball on the field next year. And, and uh, that's what our 100% of our focus and our attention is on right now. Um, you know, when, when, when you, you don't have, when your season is over, uh, you got to try to uh, fight and, and go to work uh, and make sure that, that you have a great team uh, coming in this fall and, and, that, and a great team that we can put on the field in 2018. And that's 100% of our focus and attention right now. Um, and, um, and, and we'll be on the road and in conversations tirelessly with our current players and our recruits to make sure that happens. Chad, have you spoken with Ray since yesterday's announcement? Um, yeah, we, we've communicated, uh, and uh, you know, as is any as is with any season, you know, we will uh, we'll personally talk and and uh, get together uh, when the time is right. And uh, you know, after every season, you sit down with with I'll sit down with Coach Tanner and we'll talk about a number of different things and. I would assume, uh, you know, we're going to do that here really soon. Has he assured you that he wants you back next year, that you'll be back next we year? Hasn't, we, ha we haven't had that conversation. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll have that conversation, and I'm sure, in a, in a, in a short period of time. And, uh, you know, when we, when we meet. Shortly, but your confidence level moving forward, but you know, you're still the guy. Yeah, I love the University of South Carolina. There's no doubt in my mind I love this baseball program. I've experienced great things here. Um, I've been in the dugout and got to experience two national championships and another trip to the College World Series and a championship series and an SEC championship, an SEC East championship last year. Um, you know, I, I, I feel great about who Chad Holbrook is. I feel great about myself. I have the utmost confidence in myself. And, um, and if some things not going our way, absolutely. Um, but, I, you know, I'm not going to sit here and, and – say I haven't made mistakes you know we're all human beings you know sometimes mistakes are made but I'm a uh, I feel great about my ability to coach and lead this baseball program I love this university I love this community uh, I've been so many people have been so supportive of me our program and our family and uh, I feel great about moving forward can you feel can you say you feel a hundred percent that you'll be back as I, a coach? I, that's that's not for me to say um you know coach Tanner and I have conversations there's not a there's not a uh, person in the world that I think more of and uh, there's not a person in the world that uh, that means more to me and um, and um, you know we'll, we'll 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 have an opportunity to talk uh, you know when when he gets back in town and, and and you know we'll we'll see how we'll see how that goes but it's it's uh that goes on with every it, <laughs> we'd have that meeting whether we had a 46 win season like we did a year ago and uh, and we'll talk about a number of things I'm sure at that point point. and do you think it's at all justified that your job security is even being talked about. I mean, <clears throat> you look at your overall record and uh, the fact that you missed two tournaments in your career so far, and people are questioning whether you should be the guy. Well, I, I don't. I don't need to stand up on a soapbox and, and go to bat for Chad Holbrook. I believe in myself. You know, yeah, we have won 40 games. We won the SEC East last year. We've hosted a couple Super Regionals, and I understand that we need to get to the College World Series. And um, I'm not standing up here an unsuccessful coach. Uh, I, I've, I've been part of some great things. and uh, But, you know, at the, at the same point, I understand the expectations at South Carolina. I'm honored uh, to have worn that jersey and, and, and honored, honored to have the opportunity to continue to wear it. It's, uh, it's uh, you know, it, I'm, you know, I'm totally comfortable with, uh, um, with who I am as a coach and, and as a leader of this baseball program. And I wish some things would have gone differently for us this year. And uh, I wish we'd have had, you know, you know, all our team, you know, able to compete on, on a day-to-day -day basis. But as far as my coaching record and, and you know, and what I've been able to accomplish, um, I feel good about who I am and what I've done for this university. And and, um, and, and I feel good about what's going to be, 
what's going forward here for the for our baseball program in Chad Holbrook. Would you make any changes though if, if you're able to come back coaching? And what would you change anything differently from style of coaching? Anything in the dugout? I mean, just you know, you, when you have a tough year, you evaluate every single aspect of the program. You evaluate yourself. You evaluate, you know, how, how you do anything. But this program uh, is has a great tradition in, in regards to the way we run practice, the way we lift, to the way we, our kids perform in the classroom, to the way our kids perform in the community. You know, <laughs> this program was set up, quite honest with, honestly, long before I got here. And, uh, and nothing has changed in regards that we go about the way that we coach the game, uh, the way that we uh, condition, you know, the way that we um, teach the game. I mean, and we believe in the program here at the University of South Carolina. And, um, you know, there are things tweaked from time to time. Absolutely. Uh, I think you have to continue to learn and grow. Uh, when you have some moments like this, um, maybe do we uh, train a little bit differently to prevent, you know, focus on some injury prevention stuff. You know, as I sit here and uh, uh, right now, and that being maybe maybe one of the major hurdles we were unable to overcome, that's one of my focuses as we go into next year. Is is, uh, is there anything that we can do from an injury prevention status to, to, to ensure that doesn't happen again to, to a number of our players? But. There's other things too that will be evaluated. I'll evaluate myself, we'll evaluate our players, evaluate our coaches, we'll evaluate every single person. That's just part of it. And and to be honest with you, it's part of it whether you have a great year or, or, or a tough year like we just had. Yeah, is there uh, when we meet. Coach, the committee said that you know, one of the main factors for Carolina not getting into the postseason was two and eight in SEC series. Do you agree with that? How hard is it is uh, is it to win those SEC series on a consistent basis? Well, that was uh, that was the that was the, you know you can poke holes in a lot a lot of resumes of teams that were on the bubble. Um, you can also say you know we won a great deal of wins against the top fifty or the top hundred, but that was that was disappointing. Yeah, obviously you know we had a stretch there which couldn't close out a series and we were an out away or a pitch away or a play away and from winning a series at LSU or at Auburn um, and here against Vanderbilt and a number of other games where it was a pitch and uh, you, you got to make it or you got to make the play or you got to put a big swing of the bat on it with two outs or two strikes on you and we, we, and we didn't we were we were two pitches away from being four and four or we were probably three outs away from being five you know six and four in the league in series it just didn't happen and um, and it didn't happen, and it was very, very, the, f the line was very fine. Um, it certainly wasn't from a talent standpoint, and it certainly wasn't, uh, you know, necessarily uh, from, a, uh, from an ability to put yourself in position to win. We were in position to win all our series, including all of them on the road. We were in position to win them late in the game, you know, maybe with an out to go, or a pitch to go. And, uh, and we had, had trouble getting over that hurdle. Some of it was we didn't have Tyler to go to, maybe, and some of it was uh, some other factors. But um, I understand and respect the committee's decision. Um, you know, it, it, it's I understand we didn't do enough when you look at the whole, the whole, the whole resume. Um, I was hoping that we would be able to sneak in with that performance in Hoover, but you know, it just didn't it just didn't work out. Chad, offensively, I know y'all hit some home runs, but you're still bottom third in the league and a lot of offensive categories uh, with with Busher not being. Being around the the Stewart Lake, where do you go from a, a hitting philosophy standpoint and a, and a hiring standpoint? Well, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna evaluate every single aspect of the program, and 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 obviously myself and Coach Tanner are gonna evaluate every single aspect of the program, and uh, you know, I'll make the decisions I need to make at the appropriate time, you know, and and Coach Tanner will do the same uh, in regards to decisions that he needs to make. So uh, uh, everything's gonna be evaluated. And um, you know, and it starts with myself. I'm the head coach, and 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 we'll certainly evaluate every other aspect of our program as well. Is there anything in mind right now that you would like to change, just from a from an approach standpoint, or, from, or just any anything from an offense? I have, I, I have a lot of things in mind that that I want to address, and, and will address at the appropriate time. And um, you know, but. Uh, and out of you know, I'm going to sit down with Coach Tanner, you know, first and foremost, and 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 bump some ideas off of him, and see if he thinks they're good, or see if he, you know, thinks that those would be things that you need to imply. But there's a lot of things I want to address, and uh, and I will so I will do that at the appropriate time.